Next question is from Magnetic Beauty 101. Because of COVID, I've been doing a lot of walking outside. You guys always talk about cardio and how it hinders muscle gain. Is there such a thing as too much walking hurting gains? Um, you know, I mean, technically, yeah, uh, you could do anything too much it can start to take away from your body's uh, ability or desire to adapt in a specific way. And muscle building is an adaptation. Uh, but with walking, it's a much lower risk than if you're doing like running or cycling or swimming. And also there is, uh, there definitely is a time that walking can improve your body's ability to build muscle. I mean, if you're sedentary completely all day long, like a lot of us are, a lot of us are sedentary all day long, introducing walking uh, will improve your health and, and could improve your body's ability to build muscle. I know mm -hmm. this is true for me. If I just lift weights and do no cardio whatsoever, I don't build muscle as well as if I lift weights and do some cardio to improve my health. So there's a sweet spot, and you're going to have to kind of figure that out for yourself. Yes, technically you could walk too much, uh, but what that number is or what that amount is is going to be different. I think that would be difficult to do, don't you? And and explain to Salman, I mean, you probably explain this better than I, I can, is how, how our body utilizes energy, right? So if you, if you have 20 pounds of body fat on you, that you have stored energy on, on your body. And if you run out of uh, sugar, if your body runs out of glycogen to utilize as fuel, its next source, it will tap into fat. Uh, the idea of it starting to metabolize uh, muscle is not something the body wants to do. The only reason why it would go there if it's being forced to go there, yeah. which would be, and that's where like cardio or exercise really comes in when you're that low of calories. So let's say you're in a very depleted state. You don't, you know, you don't have any, you're in a, you've been in a deficit calorie deficit because you're trying to lose body fat. Uh, you've been walking around like crazy. And then you decide you want to push the body and you want to go run or you want to do like an intense circuit or whatever, that's where we, we're we most likely at risk of the body starting to metabolize. Yeah, but even that's rare, right? It's it's pretty rare for the body to metabolize uh, muscle. You have to be really starve yourself uh, mm -hmm. to do that. Really, the reason why you lose muscle when you do too much cardio is because your body's always trying to get better at what you do a lot of, okay? And the strength and endurance... They can be synergistic, but at some point they start to compete. So if you want to become a better endurance machine, that means you want to become efficient with energy and you don't want to have too much muscle. You don't need a lot of strength for a lot of endurance, number one. It burns up a lot of energy, and, and, and endurance training tends to burn a lot of calories. Your body becomes a more efficient machine. You reduce muscle mass, and you become better at cardio. When you're trying to build strength – then it's less concerned about becoming energy efficient and it's more concerned about building strength, which requires a lot of muscle. So imagine if you had a car that was like an AI car um, that could adapt according to, you know, depending on what you do with the car. If I drive that, that AI car at 30 miles an hour, but I drive for 15 hours a day, it's going to turn itself into a one cylinder engine car, burn very, very little, you know, fuel. And I'm not going very fast. I'm only going like 30 miles an hour. So that's what's going to turn to. But what if all I do with that car is I drag race it twice a day? You know, mm -hmm. it's going to develop in, in, into a, you know, 10 cylinder engine, very big power, burn a lot of energy. So this is what happens. So you're sending competing signals to the body at some point, and your body's going to choose kind of. So you, you, so you can either become a, a jack of all trades, you know, mm -hmm. if you, if you, do a lot of strength so training. A hybrid approach. Yeah, a lot of strength training, a lot of endurance training. Lot. Then you'll get some muscle, some endurance, or you could do all endurance or mostly endurance and uh, very little strength, but lots of. Or you could do lots of strength training where you build more muscle, not so much endurance. At some point, they're synergistic, but then again, at some point, they start to compete, and that's uh, you know, there's a lot of variables that come into play. Walking is not one of the ones I'm I'm worried about. You'd have to walk a lot typically yeah. to make that happen. So I wouldn't worry too much about that.